This is a demo of my Meld version 2 boards. Um, this is the second revision of a flashlight driver that I designed that can do red, green, blue, and UV in addition to white. Um, I have a blog post on V1 and I have, I'll have i put one up on V2. I didn't do a video on V1 because the user interface is the same, so I'll demonstrate that here. This is the version 2 board. It has two parts. The uh, main board has a constant voltage regulator to run RGB UV and then it sends control outputs to the secondary board which is a SEPIC converter to run the white at higher current and true current regulation and they get stacked up like this. So the user interface for white modes it's very similar to lights I've done in the past. Uh, it can be ramped up and down in brightness a double click is a shortcut to a primary level, click press is a shortcut to maximum, and another click press from there is a shortcut to minimum. Uh, here this is showing off already one of the color features is uh, dimming to red. So if I dim this all the way down, the minimum level is replaced by a very dim red color. Uh, in any mode, there's a smart momentary function. If I hold the button down from off, it's momentary only, and then I can release. The shortcut to maximum is also available from off, so if I double click and hold from off, I've gone to maximum momentarily, and then I go back to off, or I can just click it and let go, and it will latch on in maximum. So, uh, in addition to those white modes, there are strobe modes by triple click and strobe speeds can be ramped through just the same as brightnesses and just like white the strobe modes are remembered through power cycle and then there are color modes accessed by click click press so this is the continuous continuous color fade through the whole spectrum and I can pause on any color I want so here I'm on blue and I can go back to a purple color and just like anything else, these are remembered and usable in momentary mode. Other color modes, if I go through all those, I get to... Uh, this is a multicolor strobe with randomized on and off times and randomized colors. Uh, next is an automatic color fade, which will sweep continuously through the, the full spectrum of colors by mixing red, green, and blue. This is a safety flasher that you might use biking or running. Uh, this is a police strobe. Um, now here what we've seen happen is one of the features that I try to make this easy to use. We've reversed direction of the ramping because I stayed on the last function for less than three seconds. So that helps if you're searching through the list trying to find something if I'm on this for a while, I probably don't want to reverse. I want to continue through the list, which is what it'll do. It'll continue to go back, and now we're back to this continuous color ramp. But if I'm on one less than three seconds, now I've reversed, and I'm going back to the other way. So next one is a firelight simulation that uh, generates a randomized flicker, and it mixes red, green, and white to make kind of an orange color that simulates firelight. Uh, the next one turns on all the emitters at a very low, very low brightness. The camera's not going to resolve it, but that that is uh, primarily so you can look at the emitter directly, just to show off it. It looks pretty cool when you light them up. And then we get all the way back to the continuous color. So uh, two other features that this has. Um, first one is a battery check. If I do a triple click and hold, it's now reading out the battery voltage to me. So 1, 2, 3, point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 2.9 volts. 1, 2, point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this is continuously remeasuring. Every time it starts the cycle over again, it's taking a new measurement on the battery and then blinking that out. And when I release, we go back to normal. And then the last fu function is the configuration menu that lets you set up options for how the light is used. 
and that's a quadruple click from on. First option is a tactical mode and when this is activated it will force the light into a momentary only mode uh, regardless of the input on the switch and it'll do that with whatever mode it was in before being accessed. You can see the menu timed out because I talked about it for too long. Uh, but that tactical mode is great when you only want momentary no matter what and then you reset it by power cycling the light. So go back to the menu. Uh, if I click I go to the next one. Here's a beacon. This blinks whenever the light is in standby so you can find it. Next one is a the dim to red feature showing the white the light dimming it goes white bright then dim and then red enabling that feature which I demonstrated before go through these menu items next one is the uh, auto dimming feature after 10 minutes of inactivity it will automatically dim if that one's enabled this one resets the primary level to whatever was on before the menu is entered this one enables momentary maximum which forces any mode when you use it as maximum to be maximum out sorry forces any mode when you use momentary which is this function from off where I hold it down to be maximum instead of the remembered mode some people prefer to have that option and again I'm talking too long in each one and it's exiting the menu and then the last one this will enable ultraviolet if ultraviolet's installed I don't have it installed in this light so that option is off and this this option will disable or enable all color modes which obviously I have enabled now so I can just demonstrate the use of one of those if I were to ramp this all the way down to minimum and then enter the menu now I'm gonna go to the menu option that sets my primary level and that's a double blink so I'll hold down until it turns green that means it's remembered now if I'm on something else and I double click to go to my primary it's remembered that my primary was set to minimum and those are all the features of my meldboard software and I believe I have the beacon disabled I'm going to demonstrate the beacon go back to the menu and enable it and now every four seconds while the light is off it will flash that red LED so you can find it in the dark.